Abby's dedication to our school community is nothing short of impressive. He, over her time here, she's been an active member of student council for three years, served as a link leader, advised her peers in the principal's advisory, championed school mental health as an activist, and led her musical talents to the women's chorus and concert band. Abby's been a dedicated student secretary and taken on the challenge of being a College Credit Plus student for three years. Abby has devoted five seasons to Winter Guard and Color Guard, showcasing her incredible talent and commitment. Abby is now pursuing her dreams at Edison State Community College with plans to continue her education and earn a degree. One person who's always inspired Abby is her big brother, Zach, her biggest cheerleader. Every time she steps on that field, she knows he's rooting for her to succeed. Her most memorable moment involves countless bruises, a testament to her dedication to Color Guard earning her the Most Bruises Award at last year's banquet. Tonight, Abby is escorted by her proud parents, Andy and Heather Luttrell. I gotta make sure I'm in the right section. This one or one more? Next, we have Adam Gephardt. Adam is a dedicated member of our marching band and has shown his passion for music and commitment to excellence well, you, throughout you, his high school journey. One up, I knew it. But his journey doesn't end here. Adam plans to attend college and major in music education, sharing his talents and knowledge with future generations. This young man is not only a musician, but a well-rounded individual. He's been an active member of numerous clubs and activities, including Dungeons and Dragons, Track and Field, and Jazz Band. When asked to inspire him the most, Adam acknowledges the unwavering support of his father. His dad's encouragement and relentless motivation instilled in him the values of perseverance and resilience. It's a testament to the power of a strong, supportive family. One of Adam's most memorable moments was during his rookie year in the marching band when they pulled the first show together. These shared experiences and countless other memories with his fellow band members have enriched his high school years. Tonight, Adam is escorted by his parents, Eric and Kristen Gephardt. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next, we have Jacob Beasley. Jacob has been an, an integral part of our high school's marching band, and his dedication extends far beyond that. He's also been involved in pep band, symphonic band, jazz band, track, link leaders, high school musical crew, and even served as the junior high tech director. As for his college plans, Jacob is still deciding on where to continue his education, but one thing is clear, he wants to study music education. When asked to inspire him the most, Jacob credited his band directors and bandmates. They pushed him to be his best not only in band, but in life, making him a true leader among his peers. Jacob's most memorable moment was the first time he played his trumpet solo in front of a crowd, and he executed it flawlessly. It's a testament to his talent and dedication. Jacob was escorted by his proud parents, Melissa and Rick Beasley. Next we have Summer Dosik. Summer has been an active participant in various high school activities and clubs, including concert choir for one year, women's chorus for four years, concert band for two years, winter guard for five years, and show choir crew for two years. Her dedication to both her support and her extracurricular activities is truly commendable. After high school, Summer plans to attend Edison Community College to pursue a degree in business. When asked to inspire her the most, she pointed to her dad. His unwavering determination and problem-solving skills have motivated her to face challenges head-on. Summer Summer's most memorable moment, it was during her second year at the Troy game. Despite the pouring rain, she and her team performed with enthusiasm, spinning with silk silks and giant coats, creating a lasting memory of fun and resilience. Join us in celebrating Summer Dosik, who is escorted by her parents, Kelly and Jeremy Dosik. Next we have Jatayla Yvonne Jones. In the world of extracurricular activities, Jatayla has excelled as a multi-talented individual. She's shown her artistic flair through the art club, embarked on epic adventures with Dungeons and Dragons, added rhythm and soul to winter percussion, and contributed her creativity to show choir crew. Not to mention, her passion for sports led her to be part of the softball team. But her shining star has been in the marching band. Jatayla's dedication to the band has been unwavering. Her most memorable moments come from the beloved band camp, where she cherished the opportunity to connect with fellow musicians and make beautiful music together. Looking forward, Jatayla's college path is yet to be decided, but her dream is sculpting. She's even considered serving in the Air Force or Army before pursuing her higher education. When asked 
who inspired her the most, Jatayla humbly said that everyone in her life inspires her to be a better person. Her journey is about uplifting others and spreading positivity. Tonight she's escorted by Jessica Jackman and Anthony Jones. Next is Helen Vlahos. Helen is not only a dedicated member of our high school's marching band, but she has also been an active part of the community through her involvement in the Key Club for four years. Notably, she served as a lieutenant governor for two years, showcasing her leadership skills. In addition, Helen explored her athletic side by participating in track for a year. Helen's post-graduation plans include taking a year to work and gain life experiences before furthering her education. She aspires to attend Ohio University, although she's keeping an open mind about her major. But who has been her guiding light through this journey? It's her mom. Helen's mother has inspired her to be a hard worker and a better person, instilling values that have driven her success. One of her most cherished memories was when the marching band achieved grand champion status at Marion Local last year. Another highlight was performing at the BOA Grand Nationals. Tonight, Helen is escorted by her proud family members, Jane Vlahos, Pete Vlahos, and stepdad, Rob. Next we have Gracie LaPointe. Gracie's involvement spans a multitude of clubs and activities, including serving as student council's class officer, National Honor Society vice president, and a top 100 recipient. She's also been a part of Link Leaders, Hope Squad, Winter Guard, and Interact Club, where she served as president. Gracie's musical talent shine through her participation in symphonic band and show choir. She's made a significant impact as a Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Student Visionary of the Year. When it comes to sports, Gracie is a vital member of our Color Guard team. One of her most memorable moments was when the Color Guard received the title of Best Overall Color Guard out of 13 other bands, coming just eight points away from a perfect score. Gracie's future shines just as brightly as her past. She has plans to attend the Ohio State University where she will major in radio radiological science and therapy, promising a bright future in the field. But behind every great student is a source of inspiration, and for Grace, that person is her mom. Her mom is her biggest supporter and driving force, always encouraging her to live her best life. Without her mom's unwavering support, Gracie admits she wouldn't be where she is today. Tonight, Gracie is escorted by her proud parents, Amy and Joe Lapointe. Next, we have Alex Preston. In the realm of music, Alex has left an indelible mark as a director, a dedicated member of our high school's marching band. With three years on trumpet and two as a drum major, Alex's musical powers has truly shown through. Her commitment extended to the jazz band, audio hype, and symphonic band for the full four years of high school. As she embarks on their next adventure, Alex has been accepted into Bowling Green State University to major in music education. Alex's inspiration is drawn from two phenomenal, phenomenal mentors, Mr. Hines and Mr. Mahaney, who have guided and pushed her to reach their full potential. Alex's heartfelt message to them is, I will miss you both more than you will know. One standout moment from their high school journey was performing at BOA in their rookie year. With a fantastic trumpet section and treasured memories, Lucas Oil Stadium became the stage for their hard-earned show. Tonight, Alex, Alex is escorted by Jason Preston and Nicole Lacey. Next, we have Olivia Huber. Olivia has made a profound impact on the high school community, showcasing her talents in the marching band and concert band as she embarks on her journey to the Ohio State University to study veterinary science. She's set to make a significant mark in the world of animal care and welfare. When asked about her inspiration, Olivia acknowledged her parents, Jennifer and Dustin Huber, as the driving force behind her success. Their unwavering support and hard work have molded Olivia into the incredible individual she is today. Olivia's most memorable moment during her high school years was her first year at BOA Grand Nationals it was a mix of fear and excitement, a moment that pushed her out of her comfort zone and helped her grow. Join us in celebrating Olivia Huber, who was escorted by her parents, Jennifer and Dustin Huber. Next we have Tegan Shu. Tegan has been a dedicated member of the marching band throughout their high school years, bringing rhythm and harmony to our school's events, but their talents extend beyond music. 
Teagan is almost an avid member of the Dungeons and Dragons and Harry Potter clubs where their imagination truly shines. In addition to his passion for the arts, Teagan is part of the symphonic band showcasing their commitment to excellence in every aspect of life. Looking ahead, Teagan plans to continue their education at Sinclair Community College focusing on automation and control technology with robotics. The one person who has had a significant impact on Tegan's life is his father. Tegan admires him for teaching him value, valuable life lessons and demonstrating the importance of trust and resilience. This inspiration has shaped Tegan into the remarkable individual they are today. On this special night, Tegan is escorted by Mr. Mitch Mahaney. Last but not least, we finally have Andrew Powers. Andrew has been a dedicated member of our marching band for five remarkable years, but his involvement doesn't stop there. He's shown his passion and enthusiasm in various high school activities and clubs, including Dungeons and Dragons for four years, the Harry Potter Club for four years, show choir for four years, and concert band for three years. Even though Andrew might not have specific college plans at the moment, he's un undeniably someone to watch out for in the future. While his extracurricular achievements are impressive, what truly sets Andrew apart is the person who has inspired him the most. He has consistently drawn inspiration from the entire music staff who have tirelessly nurtured his musical talents and those of his peers. These dedicated mentors, despite having to manage their student almost every day of the week, have remained a source of unwavering positivity and encouragement. Their ability to con continuously push their students to be the best they can be, not just as music musicians, but as individuals, has left a lasting impression on Andrew. One of Andrew's most cherished memories was during the rainy competition at Swanton in 2019, when they didn't know if they'd qualify for state due to a video cutout. Tonight, Andrew is escorted by Jennifer Blankenship and Sam Powers. Introducing first, 
Brooklyn Black. Brooklyn is a two-sport athlete in track and a three-year varsity cheerleader for the Indians. She is also a member of Link Leaders. Her most memorable moment was getting third place at the NBL cheerleading competition last fall. Her plans for college are to attend the University of Tampa to study health sciences. She's escorted this evening by her parents, Monica and Josh Kemp, along with Avery Wiley, the heavyweight champion of the world. And now, introducing next, Allie Cathcart. Allie is a two-sport athlete in track and a three-year varsity cheerleader for football. She is an art club, Spanish club, and a member of Link Leaders. Allie's most memorable moment was cheering at her first varsity game and doing petty for the first time. Allie plans to attend the University of Tennessee to study international business. She is escorted this evening by her parents, Maggie and Brian Prime and Ryan Cathcart. Ladies and gentlemen, Allie Cathcart. Next we have Maya Evans. Maya is a three-year varsity cheerleader for the Indians. She has participated in track, soccer, and is a member of Link Leaders. Her most memorable moment was qualifying for state her sophomore year. Maya plans to attend Bowling Green State University to study education. She is escorted this evening by Chastity Basil and Nancy Basil. Ladies and gentlemen, Maya Evans. And last, and last but not least, Kaylee Tillman. Kaylee is a two-year varsity cheerleader for football. She is also a member of Link Leaders. Kaylee's most memorable moments was getting cleared to cheer after her ACL surgery and being a part of this year's squad. Kaylee plan, Kaylee's plans for college is to attend Wright State University to study nursing. She is escorted this evening by her parents, Bridget Tillman and Jason Tillman. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaylee Tillman. professional, courteous, and, and timely. So thank you all very much. If you are running to sell your home, look here later. The technical team will get the job done for you. I'm very pleased with the Kathy Heaney team win. Uh, they would be working with their parents. They've done a great job. I'm using them. Thank you, Mr. Kathy Heaney, for pulling out the last two. You're going to be working with the Kathy Heaney team. Thank you, Mr. Kathy Heaney, for pulling out the last two. You're going to be working with the Kathy Heaney team. Thank you, Mr. Kathy She's absolutely incredible. Uh, it's our first time we bought a home in 20 years, and a fantastic experience, and looking forward to, to getting in and, and being residents of Pittsburgh. We'd like to thank the Kathy Heaney team and Kathy Heaney for selling our house, for selling my mom and dad's house, my sister's house, my son's house. They are amazing. I want to thank Kathy Heaney and the Remax team. Uh, they did a fantastic job. Couldn't be more happy with our purchase. Very excited about everything. And looking forward to our home. I know we own like almost the whole road. Welcome to Mars for first assistance. We're here with AJ and Bloom. I don't think the crowd's going to be. Systems. We service all brands. Celebrating 30 years serving Miami County as your factory authorized carrier dealer. Visit us at MorrisComfortSystems.com. You get cold beyond that, I'll give you my coat. No matter if it was a long day at work, home, the practice field, or you're just celebrating a big win with your teammates. The Pickle Little Caesars has you covered. Stop in for a $6.49 hot and ready pizza anytime. Your Pickle Little Caesars are proud sponsors of the Indian Nation Station and Pickle Athletics. Eat 
Harmony Systems is a manufacturing company that has been a staple in the Pickle community for nearly 30 years. The most recent milestone was the acquisition of a second facility that is roughly 100 yards away from the main plant. This location will allow for Harmony's continued growth and success. Harmony has over 60 molding machines and 225 employees and we're still looking to expand. We offer competitive wages and a benefits package that includes access to a medical provider within walking distance at no cost to the employee. Come join our team and help make great plastic products. Have you heard of this and that candy on Made in Downtown Pickwell? It's for kids of all ages. If they don't have it, they don't make it. This and that candy on Maine has your favorite retro candy. You know from when you were a kid. There's a selection of 165 glass bottle sodas and 84 kinds of salt water taffy. Retro toys, they've got them too. This and that candy on Maine. 408 North Main Street. Find them on Facebook or call 937-541-2201. If we don't have it, they don't make it. Introducing first, Hayden Parker. Hayden is a three-sport athlete that has lettered in football, wrestling, and track. His favorite memory was competing at a high level in every sport, such as districts and regionals. Hayden plans on joining the military after high school. He is escorted tonight by his parents, Caleb Jones and Shelly Anthony. Ladies and gentlemen, Hayden Parker. Next, we have Garrett Brown. Garrett is a two-sport athlete that is a leader in both football and track. His favorite memories are running a 39-yard run against Greenville this football season and advancing for the Division I Regional Track Finals in the 4 by one last May. Garrett is currently undecided on his plans next fall as he's looking at several options. He is escorted by his parents, Lee and BJ Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, Garrett Brown. Next we have Gage Gamble. Gage is a two-year letter winner in football and is involved in the Manufacturing and Machine Technologies program at the Upper Valley Career Center. His favorite memory was beating Troy in his junior year and making a big tackle in the playoff game last season against Stebbins. Gage is still contemplating his plans upon graduation. He is escorted by his parents, Jenny and Dale Whale. Ladies and gentlemen, Gage Gamble. Next we have Corson Hawk. Carson is a two-sport athlete in football and track and field. He is involved in the nursing program throughout the Upper Valley Career Center. His favorite memory was beating Troy last season and tying the series. Carson plans on studying physical therapy and is still deciding upon what school he will attend and potentially playing college football. He is escorted tonight by his parents, Cletus and Holly Hawk, along with his sister, Sydney. Ladies and gentlemen, Carson Hawk. Next we got Josh Keith. Josh is a three-sport athlete that competes in soccer, football, and baseball. Josh currently holds the school's record in soccer for the most saves in a game, season, and career, and currently sits at the second in state for career saves. His favorite football memories are the summer football workouts and forming new relationships with his football teammates and connecting on a 32-yard field goal to help the team beat Xenia this season. Josh is looking at several options for his major in college of choice next fall. He is escorted tonight by his parents, Jeff and Natalie Heath. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Heath. Next we have James Hess. James has been a part of the football program throughout high school and is heavily involved in the auto collision repair program at the Upper Valley Career Center. His favorite memory was his sophomore season when Josiah Medley imploded the punter at Troy and the Indians defeated the Trojans that night 28-7. James is undecided on what his future plans are, but is considering attending Edison State Community College to attain a two-year degree while still working. 
He's escorted tonight by his parents, Jim and Jesse Hess. Ladies and gentlemen, James Hess. Next we have Parker James. Parker is a two-sport athlete in football and wrestling where he has been a three-year letterman. His favorite memory is showing out Troy 59 to nothing and tying the series in his junior year. Parker is undecided as to what college he will attend, but plans on playing football in college and majoring in education. He is escorted tonight by his parents, John and Robin James. Ladies and gentlemen, Parker James. Next we have Derek Jones. Derek Jones is a two-year letterman in football and also has been one of the best performers in the weight room in the annual spring liftathon. His most memorable moment was playing in the football program's 700th win in school history of sophomore year and also breaking the high school weight room bench record of 405 pounds. Derek plans to study physical therapy at a college yet to be determined next fall. He is being escorted by his parents, David and Sandy Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Jones. Tate Tate is a multi-sport athlete that has lettered in both football and basketball for the Indians. He has also earned a position in the National Honor Society of PHS. His favorite memory has been the relationship with his teammates in football and getting a big tournament win in last basketball season over Springboro to give the team its first tournament win in several years. Tate plans on completing his associate's degree in business at Edison State next fall. He is escorted tonight by his parents, Brad and Abby Coleman. Ladies and gentlemen, Tate Coleman. Next we have Wyatt Mars. Wyatt is a two-sport athlete in both football and track. He also is involved in Science Olympiad and Key Club. Wyatt is enrolled in the pre-engineering program at the Upper Valley Career Center. His favorite memories have been running on the field on Friday night at Alexander Stadium and the relationships he has with his teammates. He plans to attend the University of Cincinnati next fall, majoring in mechanical engineering. He is escorted tonight by his parents, AJ and pa Paloma Mars. Ladies and gentlemen, Wyatt Mars. Next we have Roman Medley. Roman is a two-sport athlete and a two-year varsity letterman on the football and basketball teams along with a three-year letterman in track. In addition, he has been involved as a volunteer with the Pickle Youth Football and Basketball Associations, along with being heavily involved with the service learning class at the high school. Roman intends to attend college next fall, but is undecided on his major and the college he will enroll. Roman has high hopes of running track in college. He is escorted tonight by his parents, Jason Medley and Tabitha Carroll. Ladies and gentlemen, Roman Medley. Next we have Alex Millie. Alex is a two-sport athlete in football and track where he has participated in both sports throughout high school. He is enrolled full-time at Edison State Community College as a college credit plus student. His favorite memory was shutting out Troy's from the year 59 to nothing and tying the overall series with the Trojans. His plans are to major in business at a college yet to be determined. He is escorted tonight by his parents, Mike and Erica Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Miller. Next we have Bryce Phillips. Bryce is involved in multiple sports and clubs including football, baseball, science and Olympiad, and has earned a spot in the National Honor Society. His favorite memory is scoring a touchdown off a block punt against Stevens. Bryce will be attending Cedarville University next fall majoring in business management. He is escorted tonight by his parents Mike and Lisa Phillips. Ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Phillips. And next we have Kyan Warner. Kyan is a three-sport athlete in football, basketball, and track and has been named all-conference in all three sports. His favorite memory was beating Troy 59 to nothing in his junior year and starting at safety his sophomore year in the regional finals against Wynton Woods. Kyan plans on attending college and playing football but is still deciding on what school he will attend next fall. He is escorted by his parents tonight, Nicole Hudson and Jason Warner. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyan Warner. Next we have Aiden Williams. Aiden is a two-year learner in football and is very active with extracurriculars in school. He is a class president in FCCLA, Link Leaders, National Honor Society, Show Choir, and one of the leads in the musical. His favorite memory was beating both of the rivals, Troy and Sydney, in his junior year. Aiden is unsure of his college plans next fall, but is actively looking at options. He is escorted tonight by his parents, Kevin Williams and Megan. Nevin, as well as his grandparents, Lynn and Jim Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Aiden Williams. And last
last but not least, Jonathan Stavino. Jonathan has been playing football through his high school career and is also involved with FCCLA and the Key Club. He is in the nursing program through the Upper Valley Career Center. His most memorable moment was playing his first varsity snap and feeling the rush and excitement of the first game under the Friday Night Lights. Jonathan plans on attending Ball State next fall studying nursing. He is escorted by his family, Cindy and Joe Gobel and Joe Miner. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Stavino. Oh, yeah. <laughs>